All right, what's going on, my bears? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you new, my name is Andrew, and I'll be your food guide for today. Today, we are eating at Moria. It's a pretty famous place in Kobe that serves, of course, Kobe beef. And today, we're gonna eat something truly, truly exciting. Uh, so we are going to eat the champion of Kobe beef. Uh, this is Kobe beef that was strictly chosen from Hajima beef, apparently. I, I don't know what that means, but I was born and raised here in the Kyoto Prefecture. Apparently, it won the recent uh, competition. It's the grand prize at the recent competition. So that's very exciting. So we went ahead and got that Kobe beef sirloin steak set. 170 grams. Pretty pricey, but I think it's going to be absolutely worth it. I'm so excited. We're very eagerly anticipating the food to arrive, but we did get some plates here. And these plates, uh, it's actually very similar to the style that I got at Wakoku. I've done a video on Wakoku here in Kobe as well. If you haven't seen that video, maybe check that video out after you watch this one. But yeah, they give you a big, uh, big plate and there's some salt, pepper, and some garlic chips and I'm not sure what that is, but I think it might be wasabi. It's probably wasabi. And you also get two different sauces. So what's cool about Kobe beef restaurants is that the chef will actually guide you through it and tell you uh, which, which uh, sauce and which style to try first. So he'll tell you like, okay, please try it uh, with no, no salt, no pepper, nothing. And then he'll be like, then try it with the salt and then try it with the pepper and try it with salt and garlic and then give you suggestions and kind of tell you how you should experience the beef. Hopefully they do that here as well. I'm assuming they're going to, but uh, we just gotta kind of sit tight and wait for them to bring out the beef. We actually just got their appetizer and she said this is shrimp and scallop with mayonnaise. Uh, and this is uh, like a bread with the Prosciutto? I think. So. I think? Yeah. Right? Okay, let's try that out. Alright, itadakimasu. Go for that. Looks very beautiful. Guess I just eat the whole thing. Oh snap. That was pretty amazing. The mayo wasn't too strong either. And the uh, seafood is so fresh. Still a little confused as to what this is, but I'm gonna have a little little nibble of this. Mmm. <gasps> so there's our champion beef. That's some good marmalade. Wow. Wow, okay. So, she just gave us a certificate for everything. Uh, so you can see that everything's like legit. So, that's really cool. Definitely gonna hang on to this. This is the best kind of souvenir you can really ask for. You can see from my GoPro B-roll camera that there's some stuff sizzling and grilling. And it smells amazing. So they just brought us some soup as well. Some pumpkin soup. Looks pretty good. Give us a little taste test. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. I thought it would be a lot thicker, but... It's very light. The flavor is definitely phenomenal, though. It was like a... Almost like a popcorn kernel. Everything is still grilling on that grill top, sizzling, really activating my stomach. Super duper excited. How do you like this steak? Uh, what's the name of this stuff? Medium or medium rare? Okay, medium rare. Okay. Medium rare. So I always like to ask uh, the person preparing the meal what their recommendation is in terms of steak. Uh, depending on what it is, sometimes, uh, you know, medium can be better than medium rare, but I'm personally a medium rare guy. I know most people are medium rare people, so we're just going to go ahead and go with medium rare. Oh. 
Oh man, okay. So now it's time to cook the actual beef. He's just separated some of the fat, some of the bigger parts of the fat off. And let's just watch the master at work. Ooh. Thank you. Oh my god, already. The smell that's coming off of the beef is otherworldly. I need to distract myself a little bit. I'm gonna have some of the salad that they brought out. This is a very beautiful salad as well. Just look at the presentation of the salad, it's crazy. Mmm, really good. They even like cut a pea in half. Insane. So we just got plated up our first uh, bit of beef and uh, I'm so excited right now. So we got some side dishes here and uh, rice, salt, pepper, okay, all right, so I was right, garlic, salt, pepper, wasabi, and this is a ponzu and that's a miso sauce, all right, so the first thing I like to do is get this beef, all right, get this beef and try it on its own. So, why don't we do that? Super excited. Oh my God. Oh my God. So I've had Kobe beef before, but this is like a new level, a new level of delicious. We're gonna go for some, uh, a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of the ponzu sauce. And try it out this way. Mm. We're gonna try this uh, miso sauce next. Mmm. This sauce is actually really, really good. And I think it complements the beef really well. We're just gonna palate cleanse with some rice real quick. Now, it's just so crazy how easily this beef can separate, you know? It kind of feels like I'm biting into tofu. That's how tender it is. So we're gonna get a little bit of garlic. And let's get a little bit more salt. Okay, let's try this out now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That combo was insane. That combo basically highlights what I was saying about uh, getting recommendations. You know, chef really knows best. You gotta trust the chef. All right, I'm gonna try some bacon. Bacon's a little bit salty, but really juicy, really good. Nice and crispy. And the fat and the flavor really comes through. I'm get a little bit more beef. And I'm gonna do that recommendation again. We'll get some garlic on there. Get some wasabi on there. And then we're just gonna take this and then dip it in some salt. Mm. It's just so crazy delicious. 
my brain just ceased functioning. We got this piece. This one, I'm going to do some garlic. And then we're gonna go into the miso sauce. All right. Mmm. The garlic and the miso sauce. Also a really good combination in my opinion. Mmm. So now some of the more fatty bits are being grilled up. Uh, where I guess where more of the marbling was on the steak. This is gonna be super super exciting So this is kind of like the last two pieces almost mm. All right, For this one We're gonna go for the ponzu Get the ponzu sauce on there Also garlic chip. All right, here we go. Mm. It truly is indescribable how good this is. Like you take your first bite and then it's mind blowing. And you keep eating, but that feeling of your mind being blown, it doesn't go away, it stays. I think we're gonna go with the uh, recommendation again for my last piece here bombs away. Mm. Mm. Oh, this piece was especially delicious, actually. Definitely had a lot more fat in it. Had a lot more of the juiciness. This little piece right here looks really fatty, really delicious, a little juicy. I got the design was. Oh, yeah. That right there. That piece right there. Super fatty, super juicy. Basically concentrated umami. And the last thing that was grilled up was uh, this sort of salad of bean sprouts and some of the pieces of fat that were left. So this is gonna be insanely delicious, I already know. Mmm. That's the good stuff, man. Wow. So our chef actually just gave us his business card and uh, that's his name right there. Nishigami Shoichi. Definitely gonna put this right inside with the certificate. I'm gonna do that right now. It's a little bit weird, but for the last step, we're just gonna try some of these other side veggies that were grilled up. This I believe is a Japanese sweet potato. Oh my god. This is so good. Wow, I'm really glad I saved this for last because it's very sweet and it's pretty much just like a really nice dessert almost. And we got some lotus root here too. Mmm. So tasty. I love lotus root. It's so nice and crunchy. So many flavors activating my mouth all at once. Actually, eating the lotus root with the sweet potato is a pretty good combination. I think the flavors really pair with each other pretty well. Mm. We're at the end here. This is the last piece of beef from that steak. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. Mm. All right, I'm gonna clean up the plate and uh, meet you guys outside.